Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding product price at a given date and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon interviews over the past one year. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called products with three different columns, product ID, new price and change date and this these being their data types. The combined column product ID and change date is the primary key of this table. Each row of this table indicates that the price of, the price of some product was changed to a new price at some date. We are asked to write a SQL query to find the prices of all products on uh, 2019, 8th, so 16th of August 2019. Assume the price of all products before any change is 10. The order of the result doesn't matter. So let's go through this example, right? So for example, for product ID 1, right? So we have three different rows. So the price was changed three times on 14th of August, uh, 15th of August and 16th of August, right? So price changed from uh, like 10 to 20 on 14th of August because we, you know, we need to assume that the price of all products before any change is 10. So from 10, it may, it was made to 20 on 14th of August, then was made increased to 30 on 15th of August and then on 16th it was 35 right so for product ID 1 the price was 35 for product ID 2 we, we have two changes on 14th of August uh, price was increased to 50 and then on 17th of August so now we need to calculate for product ID 2 what is the price on 16th right so the next change was on 17th so obviously whatever the price was changed to on 14th of August the price will be same if there is no change, the price will be same on 16th of August, right? So for product ID 2, the new price would be 50. For this, right? So product ID 3, since the first change came on 18th of August, so we need to assume that the price was 10 on 16th of August, right? Again, refer to this line. So for product ID 1, the price is 35 for 2, 50 and for 3, 10. And that should be the answer, right? Okay. So how do we do this? The first thing that we need to do is for each of these product IDs, we need to try to find out. So whether on 16th or before 16th of August, right? Uh, what was the price, right? So to do that, what we can do is from this product table, we can, you know, keep only those rows where the change date is less than or equal to 16th of August, right? So let's move ahead with this. So from this table called products right let's keep only those rows where change date is less than equal to 2019 august of 16 right and then what we can do is we can return all the rows and make a new column right so using a window function we can make a new column that for each of the different product ids like uh, what was the most recent uh, price that it was changed to right because that is going to be the price on 16th so what we can do is we can use a window function so we write over clause and then partition by right product id because for each of the products we need the latest change then order by change date in decreasing manner right so the latest will be the first one and then what we can do is we can use a function called rank right so this will basically assign values like one two three for each of the product id based on the latest change date right and let's alias this as some column name let's say r right so obviously this is going to uh, give a wrong answer if i run this because it is not yet complete but let me show you what this is going to return so for product ID, new price, change date and the column R. So product ID 1, 35 on 16th because right if we see uh, for product ID 1, there are three changes, 14th, 15th and 16th. And when we ordered by change date in decreasing manner, right? So 16th is going to be the first and the rank is 1 on 15th, 2 and for 14th, 3, right? For all for products with product ID 1. Similarly, for two, we have the latest change on 14th of August and uh, assigned one, right? Here, one thing that you 
can see is that there is no product ID 3 but we need to include that in the output. So what we can do this right now is that from this output, right? So wherever your uh, rank is equal to one, right? So that is the latest uh, change date and therefore the price on that particular row is going to be the price of that product, right? So for example, for one rank one is on 16th, right? So on 16, the price is 35 for two the uh, rank one is on 14 so that is this is the latest change date and there was no change after this before 16th of august right so this is going to be the price for this so from these uh, rows what we can get wherever your rank is equal to one determine the price right so let's save this entire thing in a common table expression right and then what we can do is from this common table expression where r is equal to 1 you keep the product id and the new price right and what is the output column alias as price right so as price right so now this takes care of uh, products like 1 and 2 right so when there was a change on or before 16th of august but what about this and the output should include this as well right so what we need to do is for these kind of products where the first change was after 16th of august we need to do something else so our final output should have this data plus whatever we are doing for these kind of products right so we use union now what we need to do is from this products table right so how do we identify these product ids so from these products table right where product id right product id is not in whatever we have in this common table expression right so this common table expression basically has information about all the rows where the product id's uh, price was changed on or before 16th of august 2019 right but when we do when product id is not in this so obviously all the products when the first change was after 16th of august right so when not in and from this common table expression return the product id right so not in this then what we are doing is we are returning the product id right and in all those cases we need to assume that the price was 10 before any change so we write 10 as price right so now this will take care of this right so product id 3 it will take care of this and like once we perform the union then we will be having all the three rows right so from this part right from this part what we will be getting this value and this value so these two values and from this part we are going to get this value right okay so this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yep, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again kind of a tricky question but if you know how to you know identify the latest change and make sure that since we are given a particular day on which we need to find the price of different products so use that as a cutoff and make sure that we need we need to use the union because by doing this we are essentially you know excluding some of the product ids when the first change was after that cutoff date right so you need to make sure that they are also inc included right and this is how we do it let me know guys if there is a better way you can think of or a more efficient way uh, you can do it comment down below and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.